Hello again YouTube, this is Plan Boredom and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple uh, but cool looking YouTube profile picture like I have here. Um, here's a closer look at it. Uh, this is on both the Windows and uh, Mac operating systems and Linux too. I don't forget Linux. <laughs> um, so let's get started. Um, what we're going to first do is make a new uh, picture here. I'll, so I'll name this YouTube. Uh, and the size needs to be 800 by 800. And for this picture here, I had a um, a uh, resolution of 130, but um, that only ended up to be 1.1 megabytes whenever the uh, YouTube limit is um, 2 megabytes. So, um, I know it says 3.66 uh, megs there, but um, it, it'll, it'll be fine. So that. Alright, so there's what we're going to be working with. Um, so the first thing you need to do after that is go find a texture. I found this website called texturewell.com and I found this texture um, and that's the one I'm going to be using. So I already have that saved in here and uh, we can get going. So after visiting texturewell.com or whatever place you want to go get textures from, get your texture and put it in there. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, I need to arrange this to fit the screen. I'm pretty sure there's some sort of button that allows you to just fit layer to uh, to screen, but I haven't found it yet, so. I don't really care. Make sure everything fits on. You don't want any white spaces or black spaces since it's transparent. So there we go. Um, whoops. Like I said, you don't want any white black spaces. Whoops, crap. Um, All right, let me just drag that down a little. And the re way you can free transform like I just did um, is you hit Command T, I guess it's Control T on Windows. Um, but that's good. So after you have your texture, and this texture will be in the description, uh, you need a font. So defont.com has a lot of good fonts. Um, the one I'm going to be using in this video is called, um, I'm about to show you, let me get the text, apparently it's just going to do that, um, really, <laughs> it's, just kind of like lagging a little. Um, let me drag that out now. Now we can go down to like size 48, I guess. It's a pretty good size. A little bit big. Um, take that down just one. Yeah, I don't really care. That's fine. Um, you can edit it to whatever fits your screen, but for right now, I'll just do this. So you can center it, and if you hold down shift, it makes it a little bit easier. So there we go. And now that you have your white text or whatever, I I, I would I would uh, recommend using white for your text over that, unless of course you're texture is like white um, but what you're gonna do is uh, inside the not that one the blending options for the uh, texture right click blending options uh, you wanna go ahead over to satin 
click that, click the color, do whatever color you want. Uh, before I had red, so I guess I'll go over to blue ish. Getting closer. That's good. And mess around with the opacity, all that. I'll leave it right there. Okay. And now we can click OK on that. And go to blending options for plan boredom or whatever your text is, because it's probably not going to be plan boredom. Uh, drop shadow if you want to. I just do it. I can't even really. Yeah, you can see like a small difference. Um, then you want to do inner shadow for sure. Um, change the opacity, change the color, or change whatever you want. Um, put my opacity right there. Change the distance to there. Bring the size uh, there. So after that, um, it's it's starting to get that feel. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can go to um, bevel and emboss and do the texture contour uh, but what I like to do is go over to stroke and it kinda highlights that the feeling of that bring down the opacity probably right there and there you have it that's that's it pretty much um, it's same texture and everything as this um, I just used a different color, um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions on how to do this, um, if you need any Windows help, since I know I'm doing this on a Mac, um, you can feel free to um, go to my channel and inbox me, or s send me an email if you need it a little bit more urgently. Uh, to plan boredom at yahoo.com uh, so make sure you comment rate and subscribe I am looking for a few developers to help work on a project um, if you're interested go to uh, email me at plan boredom or inbox me here you can even do a channel comment um, but that's it uh, I do I need developers for um, PHP code, CSS, HTML, and Java. Pretty sure that's it. Yeah. Um, the most important being Java, HTML, CSS. PHP isn't really needed quite yet. Um, but it, we'll get there. So, thank you for watching. Um, I also need video editors and Photoshop people, but I guess you wouldn't be really watching that if you were pretty good at Photoshop. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. It would help a lot. Thank you.